Yes. Hello, hello. Happy Sunday night. Happy Super Bowl. Happy Valentine's Day Eve. Welcome to Raincross Farms Makery. I am Robin. Behind the camera and behind the computer, you can't see him, but you can hear him, is my husband, Bill. And we are crafting at you from just outside of Lewiston, Idaho. And we hope we have an audience that isn't, uh, you can multitask, you can watch the Super Bowl out of one eye, and you can watch us craft out of the other eye. So if you're here, say hello. Hi, Liana. You are just, you are always the first one. You are on the ball. Let me get the live up on my phone. Hi, Cheryl. Welcome. Yay, she's here. How is everyone doing tonight? You watching the game or no? I think Bill was. I wasn't. I was actually watching curling for a while. <laughs> Olympic curling. So let's see. Let's... I was watching curling. And, uh, Did the United States win? Did the United States win? Huh? Did the United States win in curling? I didn't see the end of it. Oh. That's Somebody. Logo. Did the United States win in curling today? Who were they playing? China? Japan? I don't Rihanna know. Rihanna says she's only been watching the commercials. I don't even I don't even watch those. Darla, Darla's in Mexico watching it. She posted that she's she been watching the Super Bowl, but everything's in, in Spanish. In Spanish <laughs> and all the commercials are in Spanish. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, so we're live, and you are live watchers, so you know the drill. So you get to doing this, if you would. We would certainly appreciate it. If you would love our page, follow our page. We're at 825. Woohoo! 175 to go to 1,000. So it'll only take, it'll only take a year. <laughs> no, we're going to be positive. We're going to get to 1,000 really soon. Hi, Don. Welcome. And if you would, if you're willing to share our video, we would appreciate it to your page, to uh, some crafty friends that you have. If you are a member of a craft page that allows sh sharing of live videos, we would love it if you would share us out. So look, hook up occasionally. Hook up, look up. Hook up. Hook up. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm warm. I don't know why. Turned off all the heaters. Oh, well. Hey, Karen, welcome. Okay, so today's project, and I want to say, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to say it, and I'm going to prove myself wrong. This is going to be a quick project. <laughs> we are going to use one another one of my favorite transfers. This is called a slice of happiness. It says happiness is homemade, and it's got these cute little pies. And it's just adorable. And I thought we've done a lot of things on boards and we've been doing some things on ink. And I thought, let's do, let's, we haven't etched for a while. So I have this glass casserole dish and we are going to etch this into the bottom of our casserole dish. So another way to show you, we can use our, our transfers. They are very versatile and they work great. So let's get to getting. Okay, so if you're watching, say hi. Hello, Cindy. Say hi if you're watching. If you're new, let us know where you're watching from. If you're watching live, it will say there'll be a little red box that says live up here. And if it's not there, you're watching the replay. And that is just fine and dandy. Just say hashtag replay so we know when you watched. Okay, so this is a Pyrex brand glass casserole. Does it say Pyrex? It does, it does say Pyrex. Now I believe there's a way to know which is the old Pyrex and the new Pyrex, and apparently you can't etch on the old Pyrex, but this is the new Pyrex. Some glass will take the etching cream, some won't. So what I did, so that I didn't have a big old flop here, is that I put just a little dot of etching cream on here and waited just a couple minutes and it etched. So I know this will etch. Now I could etch the bottom, but if I do that, if I do that, you're going to see 
you're going to see it backwards. So you can't see it. You don't see the light through it. So we are going to etch it right down in the bottom here. And it, it will be fine. It will clean up really well. And let's get to getting. Okay, so this is a uh, self-adhesive, reusable, vinyl, silk screen stencil slash transfer so it's really sticky it's meant to be used over and over um, the company guarantees that you can reuse it 10 to 12 times if you take good care of it um, if you use etching cream on it it will probably void your warranty so I, I, I am just saying that but I'm also letting you know that I have etched on lots of transfers it has never ruined a transfer so do it at your own risk, but know that I've done it and I have not had a problem with it. I do clean them up immediately, but I haven't had a problem. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is I am, I told you that's sticky, and I'm going to put it on this really smooth glass. And that means it's really going to stick. And the problem's going to come when I go to pull that transfer up. It might stretch the transfer. So I'm fuzzing it. I'm putting just a light layer of lint on that sticky so it doesn't grab this glass quite so hard. We do want it to, we do want it to adhere. Okay, but we're not gonna wax this or anything. And this is really sticky, so I'm going to give it a couple more fuzzes. So, okay, so did was anybody watching the games? Liana's just been watching the commercials. Do you have a favorite team, or do you just not care? I posted, I posted uh, requests for ideas for Super Bowl snacks, and. Bill got really excited. <laughs> like, well, we're only gonna make what we've got in the house. So we ended up having wings and veggies and dip. Okay, so I am gonna be done fuzzing that right now. And I'm going to lay this down in here. Anna says she doesn't care. Doesn't care, yeah. Honestly, I don't care either. In fact, I, uh, you just... I haven't watched a uh, professional football game in years. I mean, that purposely. And today I actually just turned it on because I wanted to see how the Bengals were doing. Because yeah, that's sort of exciting. I haven't heard the Bengals in, uh, um, in the Super Bowl in years and years and years and years. So I thought that would be fun. Okay, so I'm trying to but... make this centered. not quite I'm getting there it's hard because it 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 goes up but our, our transfers will bend I'm just trying to get it centered before I stick it down I mean it's not going to be crucial that it's perfectly centered Deanna says she only watches if her husband has it on <laughs> like I said, I just I just have stopped watching most professional. I don't watch professional baseball or football or anything else. I like the I like AAA baseball. I like um, high school football. I love going to high school football games. Okay, Is not that... interested in, in guys. Getting paid that kind of money to play, it's entertaining. You, you're it's hoping for a, you're hoping for a good game, mm -hmm. but you don't really you don't really care who wins. Okay, so I'm pushing this down. I've got it as centered as I'm going to get, and I'm pushing it down. I could just use part of it. I could just use the happiness is homemade, or I could just use the pies, but I'm going to use it all. Okay, how many of you have? have used etching cream before, have etched on glass. So instead of using chalk paste or chalk paint, we are going to use glass etching cream. And I like 
I like Armor Etch. Honestly, I haven't tried any other brand. There are other brands, but I've tried this and it works great. So why, why rock the boat, right? So this is a um, kind of a thick paste that we are going to apply onto here. And just like we do with the, with the chalk paste, we're gonna push it through the screen. Now this is a chemical. I honestly can't tell you what chemical it is. So use it with caution. I have used it before and it's not, it's not drippy. I don't really have a fear of getting it on my hands. Even if I did get it on my hands, it's not like an instant burn. Um, if you happen to get it on your hands, wash it off right away. Um, but if you feel more comfortable, wear gloves. Okay. Wear eye protection if you feel more comfortable about that. Don't eat it. Don't, yeah, don't eat it. It is not non-toxic like ours. Okay, so it's a paste like this. Pretty, pretty goopy. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick some out here. And instead of squeegeeing it on, I'm going to spounce it on. These are, they're little sponge pouncers so they're called spouncers i got these from walmart but you could get them in any craft store and they're just foam um, if you didn't have this you could just use an old beat up paintbrush because when you're done with it it's going to be an old beat up paintbrush so i'm just going to take this and i'm just spouncing it through the stencil what did you goof what did you goof well when i was setting up the the video tonight, I forgot to tilt it down. Uh oh. No so tilt. Watch. Everybody get ready. Here goes. Okay. It's going to tilt. Okay, so I'm just pushing this through. And I'm making sure I keep it on the stencil because if I, if I get it on any of the glass, it's going to immediately start to etch. I mean, if I got it off within a fraction of a section, second, I'd probably be okay. I'm just pushing that down and get that covered, get a little more for the pies. It's about time to get some more etching cream. Okay, I, you can get this, you can get etching cream at craft stores. Um, I, Walmart, I believe Walmart has it. I know Joanne's Fabrics has it. Hobby Lobby, Michaels. You can also get it online on Amazon. And it's it's a little pricey, but you don't use that much. Everything, everything is going to get scraped back off and put back in. So I can use it again. So pushing that down. Oh, Liana, you've got to give it a try. There's nothing to wash off. There's nothing to scratch off. It etches into the glass. There's no heat setting. All we're doing is, so I'm going to, I'm going to take just a minute or two and I'm going to just kind of pounce that through wherever there's screen. Cause we want to get that, that cream to come in contact with the glass. And there are no instructions on the jar. But so what I've seen is other crafters and on Pinterest. And I, I see anywhere between five minutes and 15 minutes to leave it on. To let the, to let the cream do its, do its chemical reaction against the glass. Okay. So pretty boring, but that's, that's kind of all we do. Now I'm going to wait for a few minutes and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to bounce it some more. Yes, I do have an Amazon link for it. Um, if you go to the Facebook page and under guides, there's like photos, uh, discussion. Uh, one of them says guides. One of the guides says product links. And then there's our little disclaimer because we are Amazon associates and we get a couple of pennies anytime anybody uses one of our links. 
Um, but, I was able to do it before. I'll see if but, I can send it. But there is a guide, and I do believe the etching cream is is in there. Um, and if not, hit me up, and I'll send it directly to you. Armor etch. Armor etch. A R M O U R etch. Okay, so who do we who do we have? On? We have ten people on. Awesome. And of course, it's very boring. Okay, so I'm I'm gonna spounce a little bit more so you so you think I'm doing something. Okay, um, I I I so want to say, raise your hand if you're a, if you're a Club Couture member. But it, that, I know that just that doesn't work on Facebook. I mean, it, it kind of does. Send up some hearts if you're a Club member. This is the 10 ounce, 10 ounce. 10 ounce. This is the 10 ounce size. They have little small ones. So if you want to start out small to try it out, you don't use a lot of it. I'm probably a little under half, half full. Okay. So I'm spouncing. Okay. So if you don't know, if you don't know what club is, I've got to tell you because they're having an awesome deal. Club is our monthly DIY subscription service, $19.99 a month, very affordable. You get a transfer of this size, and this is January's. They change every month. This is an exclusive transfer. Only our club members and our designers are able to get it. And so every month you get a transfer like this, and you get three packets of our Chalkology paste in coordinating colors, enough to do this project two, three, four times, okay? or other projects. Okay, so that's awesome. You don't pay any shipping on your monthly order. There are other bonuses and perks that the company always has. So club members, when you order on the website, you get flat rate $4.95 shipping and they have other specials and deals and right now they're special for the month of february any new club member that joins gets a bonus pack of five mystery selected transfers from the previous club transfers let me show you some of them okay okay he's gonna post it okay so these are some these are some of the five transfers you could get so here is, this was October's of last year. Very thankful, grateful, incredibly blessed. This was September's, Hello Autumn, very popular. This was August's, Kitchen Rules. And this was February of last, so a year ago. This go confidently in the direction of your dreams. So this is a split apart one that you can use in a lot of different ways. This is bowl of cherries. Life is a bowl of cherries. Make it sweet. Okay, clarify one more time. Susan asks, so benching paints can be used on uh, CC transfers? Yes, yes, it will work with our transfers. The company will not tell you that you can use etching cream with them because it's not one of their products. But I'm telling you, I have used it and I have not had any problems, And but I clean them up right away and I clean them thoroughly so, there's, so those chemicals get removed right away. I have had no trouble with it eating any of the material. I have not had any trouble with it um, taking away the stickiness. It has worked great. Okay, this was November's reindeer parking. This was December's good things are going to happen. These are some even more earlier happy holidays. This one is adorable. This was before my time. Life is short, buy the shoes. So this is one you could get in that mystery pack of five. Uh, did I already do Hello Autumn? It's a repeat. Uh, Looking Sharp. It's a little, um, what is it? Porcupine. Hedgehog porcupine. Porcupine. Okay, Looking Sharp. And again, different pieces layered. Uh, do Not Give Up. 
and it's a cute little donut. This one is, you can't see it, but it says be brilliant. So it's this uh, light bulb. So lots of gorgeous transfers that they just have some of. And so any new club member this month gets five of those free just for signing up. Okay, I'm going to go back to spouncing. Again, just to make sure that that paste is making contact with the glass through the screen. Okay. So that's a great deal for club. In addition, I have some specials for my club members. Uh, starting this month, we are having a special club craft party where just club members and my designers are invited to a Zoom meeting where we are going to craft together uh, using the new transfer or using any any transfers or any craft. I don't care, we're just getting together. Um, I am putting together a little happy mail goodie bag for this month's club members. And some of the goodies, I got something in the mail. So I've got these little wooden bicycles because this month's transfer has this little bicycle. So there's these little wooden bicycles. There are some napkins with cute little bicycles with baskets and flowers for doing uh, decoupage with Mod Podge. And then just came in the mail. I don't know if you can see it. Let me open it up. This beautiful ribbon with bicycles on it. I don't know if you can if you can see it, my overhead camera is is not not being attended to for good reason. OK, so so tomorrow I am going to be putting together some little happy mail packets for my club members. Um, you guys didn't. Know. Oh, yep. We're on, Patty. Are you what do you ha do you get our notifications? If you don't get our notifications, sign up for them. Um, where was I? Oh, good news and bad news. Awesome deal with the five free transfers. Bad news is, is it is so popular that this transfer has already sold out. And they have ordered more, but they don't expect them with all the shipping delays going on. They don't expect to get them until like late March or April but you will get it you just won't get it right away but you will get those five free transfers right away so that's awesome and then if once you become a club member or if you're already a club member they are offering anybody who places a 60 dollar before tax and shipping order gets a different pack of five uh, mystery randomly selected transfers. So you could possibly get, you could join and then make another transaction, spend $60 on your basic startup supplies if you need them, and you could end up with 10 free transfers. So that is, that is awesomeness. So if you're interested in that, it's a great deal. I'm trying to spoil my club members. Um, cl comment club and my bot will send you some information or just type in the comments that you want to talk, you want to chat with me about club. I'll be glad to get back with you. Okay, so I've probably talked way more than 10 minutes. So I am going to get a squeegee and I'm just going to kind of scrape that off. And just like our chalk paste, I'm going to put it back in the jar because it's still active. It's still perfectly chemically and I'm going to scrape it off so I can reuse it. The only thing is because it's been out in the air for 10 minutes or so, it, it kind of dries a little bit and I'm not certain what you could thin it down with. But so far I haven't had a problem. I don't know what he's laughing at. Couldn't hear out of my right hearing area. Didn't have it on. The Duke knocked it out of my ear, and I didn't even know it. <laughs> At least it wasn't a bee. Okay, so I'm scraping that off, and I'm just sticking this in water. I just, I just always clean it up with just water. This I'm going to trash. 
And I'm going to put the lid back on. And then I'm going to peel this up. The lid on this tight. I'm going to put this in some water so I can rinse it out. I'm going to get my, this is just a dish drying mat that I got from the dollar store. Hmm. Again, I'm still hot. So when this comes up, I'm going to immediately get to cleaning it because there, there are chemicals on our transfers and I don't want them in on there any longer than absolutely necessary. So I don't know if you want to go overhead. So I'm kind of starting at the edge, but I'm working my way towards the middle. And because it's glass, it is sticking really well. So I don't, I want to pull firmly, but not, not roughly. Does that make sense? So I just kind of want to rock it up. Because this is where I could stretch my transfer and distort it if I'm not careful. Okay. Now what you see is not the etching yet. That is just the, the etching cream. But you can see what our, what our transfers do to make a, what our transfers do to, uh, with the etching cream. Okay, got that down. See, and I, it is a little stretchy. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that just for a moment and I'm gonna clean this. And I'm gonna clean this just like I do my transfers when I've used paste. I'm going to spray the top. I'm going to give it a little extra water and I like to use either a paper towel or these are like multi-use paper towels. They're called Swedish dishcloths. I need to put them. I need to put a link up for those. And I'm just, I have a little dish pan of Is water. It the Amazon one? Yes. Um, I know you got that one. From yeah, but I bought some store. from, I bought these from this set from Amazon, Swedish dishcloths. Hold on, let's see what I can do now. Anyway, I'm going to take this and I'm just going to get the, the first layer of that off. And that saves my board eraser a little bit of wear and tear. And this gets the, a, big, a big amount of this off. If it was a paper towel, I'd toss it with this. I'm going to just stick it in my water and I'll rinse it out. Now I'm going to get my board eraser and do the same thing like I do with the paste. I am getting all of that cream, that etching cream off of my transfer and out of the screen. And then I'm going to flip it over because the paste does kind of go through the other side and do the same thing. And on this side, I'm not only getting off the paste, I'm also getting up all the fuzz that I put on. And it's cleaning up really well. I'm giving it a, a little bit of extra rinsing just because of those chemicals. Oops. And flip it over to this side okay. and the screen is clean it is intact the I was afraid the etching cream would eat through the screen it doesn't and right now it's not sticky because it's wet when it dries the sticky will come back so for this I'm going to take a paper towel just because I want to show you Ordinarily, I'd let it air dry, but I'm just going to take a paper towel, dry this off. So I've removed all of that paste. I'm going to move over the top so I can see how it's cleared out completely. Yep, you can completely see through the screen. And I'm just giving it a quick dry. And look, it's sticky again. Okay. So no harm that I have found with the etching cream. The only, the only problem I'm seeing, and it's not even a big problem is it's kind of curling because it was so tightly attached to the glass that 
I kind of had to stretch it a little bit to pull it off. So I probably should have fuzzed it a little bit longer. Now, because that is sticky, I'm going to put it back, put my backer sheet back down on it. Shiny side to the sticky side. Flip it over, make sure there's no wrinkles. And then put this away in its little plastic container, plastic folder, which I will track down later. And we're, we're ready to use again. Okay, so this is still sitting here with etching cream on it. So for this, I would normally go to my sink, but this time I brought the sink to you. So I have this big thing of water and I'm going to use one of these and I'm just going to rinse all of that etching cream off. And it will have dried a little because it's been on for 15 minutes. But I want to get it all off in one fell swoop. If I just kind of, you know, swish it around and I don't get the etching cream off, it will continue to etch. So I don't want that. So I want to use a lot of water. And oh, let me dry it off and then let me see if I can... Make it so you can see it. I have a solid um, color behind it. Okay. Yeah. Well, I have some black. I have some black Sorry, fabric. Yeah. Okay, but let me get it dry. Get rid of that. Let me get my black fabric, see if that helps. Nope, Not, it disappeared. Nope. Well, okay. There, it is. there we go. Okay. You know what? Should Oh, you've got that light off. Picking up the water droplets. Okay, I might just need to go at it front wise. So, a little bit. Hey, so you see that? Is that upside down to them? It is. Yeah. Okay, so there we go. Happiness is homemade. Pie. Now there's, it's got Pyrex on it, but that's, you know, that's in the glass. I can't do anything about that. But happiness is homemade, etched into the glass. So when I go to a when I go to a potluck, I'll know which which container to take home, or if I wanted to give this as a gift. Pretty, you wouldn't see it when there's food in it. No, sadly, no. But is that not pretty? Give me some hearts if you think that's pretty. That's so Can pretty. You see it? That's okay. so cute. So I I. I don't know. I just love I just love those little pieces of pie, those little pies with the wedges. Happiness is homemade and it kind of looks like it's not solid. That's because it's not. The transfer itself. You're getting some hearts, baby. The transfer itself has these little little hash marks to kind of make it look weathered and aged. But that detail comes out even with the etching cream. So I think that is awesome. I love it. Hey, and look, half an hour and I'm done. And I spent most of that time just pouncing. Yeah. Okay. Now I did, I will warn you, I did try this on, on another live and I, I did it and it didn't work on the glass. So not all glass will take the etching cream. And I, I, I read somewhere what it is. It's a different type of sand that they use to make different processing method, but um, I couldn't tell you what it is. My suggestion is just take a little corner that you're not gonna see, put a little dot, wait a few minutes and see if it etched. That way you'll know it, it etched. If it doesn't etch, you haven't heard anything. You just haven't etched it. Okay, so do we have any questions? So if you are interested in this transfer, Happiness is Homemade, it's one of our brand new ones. It's only, it's not even a week old yet. So um, you can type in, what did I say? Slice, was that what my pinned comment was? Type in slice in the comments and I'll send you a cart link to this transfer. And I think I, I think it put in a couple of the tools, I don't, 
I don't right now. I don't remember now. But if you're interested in purchasing this, type in type in slice, get the cart link. If you're interested in club, type club and get some more information and if that if you have any questions reach out to me i'll be glad to talk to you about it um if you saw what i did and you like you like you think this could be a craft for you but you're interested in saving 40 percent off um i have a way to get 40 percent off of all of your orders also so i'd be happy to talk to you about that uh, just leave me a comment and i'll get back with you okay I think that's it. Tomorrow we will be <coughs> we'll be going live again at six in the evening. Um, I'm going to start a I, it'll probably be at least a week long series using just one transfer, um, different ways that we can we can use that one transfer. So stay tuned. Kind of a they'll all be different, but it's just be it'll just be one transfer. So I think you'll like it and. I think that is it. So I'll let you get back to the game. I don't know if it's over yet or how long it goes, whatever. But thanks for for stopping by, watching. Again, if you're watching the replay, let us know. Say hashtag replay and we'll know you were here. Um, again, thanks for liking or loving our page, uh, sharing it out, following our page, and purchasing from us if you are so inclined. But we were glad that you just came and watched, and maybe you learned a new technique or got a new idea. And that's really what it's all about, because we want you to do something creative every day. And today's not over yet, so get to getting. <laughs> so I'm going to, I'm going to see if I can pose and right there. For, for the screenshot you're so cute okay say goodbye okay goodbye everybody see you tomorrow